Uh, as you know, just the uh, FPSO that we've just uh, viewed, it's not, it's not the end of story. We are looking at the third FPSO, and that is going to actually produce the oil and gas from the Sankofa fields. And that is even more exciting than the 10 project we are talking about. Uh, the 10 project, as we've stated, will produce about 80,000 barrels of oil and some amount of gas. But the Sankofa project that we are working on right now, as we speak, we have negotiated the gas price. We are now concluding the plan of development. We intend to finish that quickly now. And the plan is to make sure that we can finish both the FPSO and deliver that project, working with the partners and that is at least the commitment they've made by the first quarter of 2017. So you can see in the survey times, we're going to have the second FPSO and the third FPSO. That is going to produce both oil and gas. But what is exciting about the Sankofa is that we are going to have a lot of gas. And that gas, at least at a minimum of about 150 million cubic feet of gas per day. That promise is to help us stabilize our electricity challenges and, and give us enough uh, gas uh, to power these thermal plants. But more importantly, we are also able to get um, oil. Uh, in addition to what we are producing, at that point we'll have not only the Jubilee flowing, but we'll have 10 and then we'll have Sankofa. Uh, if you see what we've done in the last year or so, we've also passed 10 petroleum agreements. What that really means is that our basins are going to be very active with a lot of exploration activities, with a lot of appraisals going on. And the intention is to continue to make sure that we can have more discoveries as, as we, we produce more oil. We've said that Ghana is going to be the hub for the oil and gas industry. And we've taken a lot of steps to ensure that that happens. First, we already have the advantage as a stable democracy. We also have strong regulations that attract international businesses with a strong rule of law that protects investments. And, uh, and then the other infrastructure projects we are doing, you saw a recent approval of an oil and gas port dedicated for the oil industry. Those are going to be additional impetus that will really push and attract investment. And so there's a hopeful future. And I think when President Mahama talks about a hopeful future for Ghana, uh, for us, uh, I think the oil and gas industry is strongly part of it. And we're very excited for the future we see for Ghana.